My name is Eric Hubbard. I'm executive director of Backroads of Appalachia, and I'm beside one of my favorite assistant county judges. Nathan Nevels, uh, deputy judge of McCrary County and also economic development director. So the reason why we're here today is talk about the impact of tourism as a whole, not just back rows of Appalachia and motorsports, which I'm very passionate about, but it's all about our communities crossing county lines, crossing city lines, and crossing state lines to be able to give people a reason to stay in our region three to five days. Why is that important? Why is that important, Nathan? Because you've got to have them there overnight. That's the whole secret of selling your food and your restaurants and making the transient taxes for your towns. That's what it's all about. Our focus at Backroads of Appalachia is real simple. We want to get people out in our royal, beautiful roads to get them tired, thirsty, and hungry so they'll spend their, their money in our, our local communities. The average person on a motorsport trip will spend $256 a day. The economic revenue of that times 77, 85,000 people per year is astronomical to our local mom and pop businesses. The most important thing about is Back Rose Appalachia is we can't do nothing without our support of our local county governments, our city governments. We work hand in hand with our community, our state, our federal government to ensure that we provide a safe, clean, economic impact, but most importantly, a red carpet event for our outsiders, but also something for our children and our kids to do. I see that young boy, that young girl, our local people, sitting inside a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, Aston Martin, a rally car, a hill climb car on our motorcycle. They're grinning ear to ear. For someone like me, the son of a paralyzed coal miner, I had that opportunity as well uh, with a bunch of Mini Coopers when I was about seven years old that came up a holler in Eola, Kentucky that took the time of me to talk to me and let me sit in their cars, which gave me an automatic spark, and I think it's really a driving force of what our organization became because of that reference right there. But with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Nathan Nevels. Thank you all for having Eric and Back Rose of Appalachia, and appreciate you. Uh, we've been very fortunate while working with Backroads of Appalachia. We've been working with Eric and his organization for four years now. During that time, we've gone from four Airbnb properties in our county to 16. And we regularly have, we have a little anchor restaurant. Hey, how many people have been to the Dairy Bar in Whitley City? Anyone? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's a 50-style diner that is still maintained exactly the way it was when it was built. And that place will fill up with 100 motorcycles. We've had Ferraris sitting there, Lamborghinis. Uh, their organization has just blown up tourism in our area. We, at any given time, we've had at least 30 groups now come through of motorcycles, exotic sports cars. And these folks come in also through his uh, organization. We got our gravel rally going in McCrary County. So we have over 425 miles of gravel roads in our county. And so we have a race where they race over 100 miles of gravel roads, and we have, we've had two of those now. They bring in a huge group of people and spectators, fill up our hotels, fill up our restaurants, and it has been just kind of a godsend for our region. Uh, our tourism just last year, uh, we have 150 jobs created from tourism. Those folks are making about $3 million in wages in our county. In addition to that, the tourists are spending about $16 million dollars. Uh, our little train ride in Stearns, we're up to about 30,000 folks riding that train yearly and also doing the Polar Express. Uh, I get to be an elf uh, and help out with that occasionally. So uh, I'm also the emergency backup Santa Claus. But uh, it's just, it's been incredible the impact on tourism that Backroads has had for our area. Uh, well, we're trying to get another hotel built to help accommodate the folks that are coming in. And... Um, that's, that's where we're headed with things. They also hosted uh, racing at our airport, which is kind of unconventional, but we raised enough money with that to completely rehab our fuel system at our airport. That drew us attention. We got a grant to build another hangar, and so our airport's in the best shape that it's ever been. So we, we appreciate these folks. They are great to work with, and um, I encourage you all, if you're not taking advantage of their skills, to uh, contact Eric. Thank you all. Thank you all.